Hi again, I'm Chris. And I'm Heather. And we'd like to welcome you back to the Traveling Happy Hour, where we're going to teach you how to make a cocktail in an interesting location. Today, Chris is going to teach you how to make a Jungle Bird Tiki Cocktail in Paradise. Here are the tools required for today's cocktail. Shaker, jigger, mm -hmm. hawthorn strainer, and juicer. Oh boy, that alarm means it's 5.13 and time to go. Let's go. Happy hour time. Well, good afternoon. We're in beautiful Paradise Point Resort in San Diego, California. Today, I will be showing you how to make a Jungle Bird cocktail. It was first created in 1970s by Jeffrey Ong, a beverage manager for the first five-star hotel in Kuala Lumpur. He was tasked to create this cocktail as a welcome drink for the hotel guests. Jeffrey came up with the cocktail that he served in a ceramic bird with pineapple garnish. Since then, the Jungle Bird recipe was published in a book by John Poister in 1989 called The New American Bartender's Guide. The ingredients is first a half an ounce of fresh lime juice, I prefer to cut off the top for garnish. Nope, not that. Half an ounce of lime juice. Half an ounce of simple syrup. If you like and subscribe and hit the notification bell, you'll know when we make simple syrups and show you how to do that. Three quarters of an ounce of Campari. One and a half ounces of fresh pineapple juice. an ounce and a half of dark rum. I like to throw in about an ounce of dark rum and a little bit over a half an ounce. I like to make it a little stronger, one and three quarters of an ounce and I use some Jamaican rum. Little ice in the shaker. And shake well. There are over a hundred birds in this lagoon area. And if I had to make a jungle bird for each one of them, I'd be working all day long. And strain. And we're using a funnel. Garnish that was pre-made with a hibiscus flower.
at the end, a cherry, piece of pineapple, a lime, and the pineapple tips. Cheers. Here's a little more about the resort. We chose the Paradise Point for the history and the mid-century Tahitian nostalgia. This resort was built in 1962 by Jack Skirball, who was a rabbi turned Hollywood producer. Some of these koi are original from when the resort opened. Look at the size of that white one compared to the mallard. Oh, hello, turtle. Jack would often feel remorse when the movie sets had to be stripped down. So there are several original works that Jack handpicked for the resort. For instance, this fountain is the original from the movie Cleopatra. And some of the doors of the cottages still boast ornate awnings that came from old movie sets. The resort was built during the Cold War. This cantina is actually built on a bomb shelter. There's lots to do on the premises. They have pools, a spa, sailboat, and bike rentals, and of course you can enjoy a casual game of miniature golf. Very casual. This restaurant is housed in Jack's original mid-century home on the premises. Is this paradise or what? We are literally standing 10 feet from our hotel room. Room 119, in case you want to enjoy this view yourself one day. Well, we've come to the end of our show, and we hope you enjoyed your jungle bird in paradise. In today's cocktail, you can have many variations. I like to throw a little Jamaican rum. It calls just for dark rum. Some people use Aperol instead of Campari. I don't know who those people are, but use Campari. <laughs> and try to use fresh juices if you can. Mm, that is delicious, honey. So, if you liked us, hit the like button and subscribe so you don't miss any future cocktail adventures. Also, leave comments or suggestions below. We will see you next time. Also, if you happen to bring a duck dog, a Labrador, oh. <laughs> you might watch out because our dog has gone in the water a couple times chasing ducks. <laughs> Wish we had some footage of that. <laughs> Have a great one. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Have a happy hour. Have a happy, happy hour. Have a happy, happy hour. <laughs> You're so cute.